Hi everyone. So I have a pale skin swatches video for you today. I should probably get the blushes out before I start the video. Um, this is on the Lorac uh, I Love Brunch collection and these are called Color Source Buildable Blushes and they're both a satin finish and the purple is Panorama and the kind of peach shade of seeming peach shade is Luma. So one thing I do want to mention right away is that Luma seems to have a layer of kind of peach on top, but it's actually pink, much more pink inside. So when I was first using this blush, I was like, there is nothing showing up. What is going on? And now that I'm down more to this pink, it's actually showing up on my face. So if you're having issues with this blush or you're going to buy it, just FYI, it does seem to have kind of a layer on top that's not quite the same color as what's underneath. So I have a good amount of coverage on my cheeks. I naturally have a lot of freckles and redness in my cheeks. So I used some Tarte Shape Tape and Fair just to make sure that that was fully calmed down. Um, I am around NC5 to NC10, so I have kind of cool yellow undertones and I'm very, very fair. So I'm going to use a little bit more of a dense brush. This is the Sonia Kashuk number 17. This is a little more dense than I would normally use for a blush, but since these shades are so fair, um, I can get away with something like this. So these do have, I would agree with the satin finish. They aren't like super high shine shimmery. Um, this is one layer and with a denser brush, there's not a ton of color coming off. There is some, and there is some shine, but it's not super shiny. And I'm going to use my Japanesque 324 uh, brush to apply Panorama. And I feel like this one has a little bit more color to it. You can really see it with one layer. Um, it almost seems a tiny bit less shiny than Luma. So I'm gonna go ahead and put another layer on. My 15 month old is in the background here. I tried to record this video once today, but it was out of focus. And so now my husband is with my three year old at Home Depot and I'm trying to do this with the baby. I've never filmed a, a recorded a video with him since he's been mobile and awake. So yeah, so another layer. So I apologize. Um, another layer I think builds up the shine to be similar to what Luma was. And I'll put a little bit more of Luma on with that denser brush and just trying to focus on the more pink parts. I think I said that last time. So since I'm very fair, it can be difficult to find a shiny blush that actually shows up shiny without being too dark. So that's why when I saw these on Tara Babies and she said how um, pastel they seemed that I was like, oh yes, I am so on it. Let me see these. And at $23, I feel like for a mid-range blush, it's not too expensive. Um, and I decided to just kind of splurge and get them both. Um, I'll zoom in a bit so you can see how they look, like how it affects the texture pore situation on my cheeks. So I don't know if you'll be able to see, it looks like it's doing some funny things to the lighting being zoomed in like this. But I feel like it does, you know, as you would expect some sort of shiny cheek product, it does kind of highlight a little bit the, the pores on my cheeks, but not, not so much that it bothers me. So when I originally got these blushes, I wasn't really sure that the kind of peach pink, there's a little vacuum back there that he's obsessed with. You want to come see yourself? Hey. Yeah. So when I was originally going to do this video, I... Please don't put the beauty blender in your mouth. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I was really on the fence on the kind of peachy pink shade just because it felt like the color was really lacking. Even though it was very light, it just felt more like a highlighter than a blush. And now that I've kind of dug down into the more pink shade, it really does seem like a good glowy, easy to wear kind of peachy pink blush. And it's almost like it has a little bit of a shift. I don't know if that's just the combination of the pink and the kind of peach shimmery, extra shimmery topping. I, I really don't know. 
but um, I do think it's nice and very easy to wear and kind of natural. Um, seems to go well, pretty pretty well with my kind of warmer skin tone situation. Um, and I just, I love the purple. I am a huge fan of purple makeup products. Well, purple's my favorite color. So I really do like any sort of purpley blush that I can get my hands on. But for me personally, it is a little bit harder to wear because I have to make sure I have a lot of coverage on my cheeks to take down that natural redness. Otherwise it can look really, really purple in not a great way, especially if that cheek starts, I have one cheek that flushes more than the other. Um, so it can get really funky looking. Um, so would I recommend it? If you're in the market for a very light shimmery blush, I would say yes. I'd say it's quite, they're both quite nice. They're not super expensive, which I appreciate. Um, they are limited edition. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about buying them. Um, I, but I don't think these are gonna sell quickly personally um i think that like the eye palette's getting a lot more attention but even that i don't think it's getting a ton of attention and i did have that i love brunch palette i believe i used it in a video and i have since returned it because it just had a lot of fading and issues and it just didn't make sense to me to keep this like big pastel eye palette when i don't wear pastels that often and then i when i was they were fading a bunch so yeah, we're not going to play with that. I know it's so, so enticing. Um, sorry about the baby interruption. I just really, really wanted to get this video done um, because it is limited edition and just get it out there for you guys in case you are interested in picking this up. I hope that was helpful. I hope I was in focus this time. The first time I recorded this, I was not in focus, but it was for the best anyway, because I did not realize this whole peach pink situation that was happening with Luma. So maybe it was fortuitous in the end. Um, if you have any questions, if I didn't address anything in the video, please let me know below. Um, I always love hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching and taking the time to check out my video and I'll see you soon. Oh, right, 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 right. That's the problem. That's the problem. Now you can reach everything. All right. You can play with these things, but not these things. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. So this is the mysterious uh, guest here. I have other thumbnails from when my first boy was a baby that are very much like this. Well, except for this squirming. Um... He's munching on a Makeup Forever Chromatic Mix pigment in uh, yellow. Isn't that nice? Nice choking hazard to be munching on there. Um, <laughs> so, can we just keep it this way? One peach, one purple? I mean, who cares? Who cares? At most, I'm going to like Baker Square or Perkins. At most. Most likely staying home. So, does it really matter?